Charming Giraffe, and we are here to do another painting. Um, I've got this contraption we're going to try here today. Um, I think it's off of like a paper towel roll or something. Um, someone gave it to me. They thought I might be able to pour through it, so we're going to give it a shot. I'll show it to you again in just a quick second. Um, we will do a dirty pour through it, so I'm going to first load the cup, and then we'll pour into this. Um, here, let me see. So, it's got like these little holes in the bottom of it. So, I'll just like hold it up and pour it and see like what kind of designs we get out of that. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. I have not obviously prepped. So, I will speed up this part just so you don't have to watch me unscrew all the lids and everything here. Um, before I do that, I'm just going to give you the rundown on the colors. We've got blue, purple, which think is the purple that I mixed with the red and blue um, from Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. This is a light green made with white and green from Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. This red does have the Sargent Art Pearlescent Mixing Medium in it. And then the silver is just, again, the standard um, from the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. So, no... Liquitex in this one. So we'll get started here and then we'll come back for the pour. Alright, we are back. Here's our cup. Not that it's going to matter too much. You can definitely see the sparkliness of that red from the pearlescent medium in there. That's really cool. Um, not really sure how much of this you'll be able to see given the angle, but we will do our best here. Hopefully this works flawlessly. Okay, just started coming out. Hopefully it's not going to be a big muddy mess. We will find out shortly. Definitely some, I definitely am seeing some color, but I definitely see a lot of uh, purple and red. Which it did seem like that purple was taken over the video or the cup when I poured it. What do you guys see? Yeah, you don't see a whole lot. I'll show you here in just a second. It actually looks really pretty cool. Actually, I'm pretty impressed with it. I have no idea how much is dripping. Okay. We're going to just set that like that so we don't make a mess. Can you guys see that? Uh, you do have a light on you. I'm going to pause you and then I'll be right back because I'm going to torch this. Okay, I'm back. I haven't torched it yet. I'm going to do that right now. And now we're going to figure out how you can see it. Hmm. Well, yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> What if I try this? There we go. It's a little bit better. At least it's not just a whole glare. So you can definitely see like where the holes were. Oop, I am making a mess. Well, let's do that. But you can definitely see like where the holes were, how it made this design kind of like a triangle color. So we'll go ahead and get started with manipulating it. But so far I'm pretty happy with it. Here, since this is going to be a mess anyways, we can use it to uh, help slide our paint along so that we maintain as much of the shape as possible. Here's the part where you have to make the tough decisions. And I'll probably bump you because it's kind of in the way now. So just a fair warning. Okay. 
actually like crazy pretty. I'm very happy with it. We definitely have some chunks in here, so we're gonna have to get rid of those. Which I did bring the tweezers, but as you can maybe see, they are covered in paint now. So that's cool. The colors you're seeing are pretty true to color. Um, a little bit brighter on the green than what you're seeing. It's kind of muted on your on your view, but <laughs> there's paint literally everywhere. hope that this doesn't drip because there was paint all over that. So I'm going to touch up these corners real fast. Oops, I told not to fix that. Won't be a big deal. It happens. But before we do that, let's grab these two chunks biggest of them. Okay. I'm going to fix that. I don't know if you saw it, if I was in frame, but I kind of like scraped part of that. So we're just going to run it off slightly. There. All right. It's still a lot of paint on the canvas, um, but I like it. So we're going to risk it. Actually, we'll see if it, um, We'll see if it cracks during the drying process. Still see air bubbles. Don't like air bubbles. I don't know why I'm so against them. I just, I just am. <laughs> and yeah, these corners are being stubborn today. They typically are. But we'll let this sit here for a few minutes and then we'll come in for the close up. Oh, here, real quick. Well, now I don't know how to get the glitter off of it. There it goes. There's the overview for now. We'll let it set for a few minutes, and we'll come back for our close-up. All right, we are back for the close-up. Um, it's probably been about five minutes or less, so it hasn't been too long. And um, We will start in the lower left-hand corner and try to keep that glare off of you as best as I can. Um, surprisingly, the blue made the biggest appearance as far as cells are concerned. Um, the purple that was in there was the purple that is the one that typically takes over. It's a really cool section of cells. Uh, but this time it was blue. It didn't take over though, so that's good. But it's the one that kind of sold up the most. Um, and you can really see like at the bottom of your screen, wherever right here all that shininess and um, there is silver so silver is going to play a part of it but also that pearlescent mixing medium is going to play a bigger role I think especially because it seems to be centralized around the red which is what had it in there and actually a whole lot of silver actually came through very well um, but yeah it looks pretty cool overall I will definitely um, keep using that tool it was pretty a unique um, pattern that came out of this so I'm pretty happy with it let me know what you think in the comments uh, don't forget to subscribe we'll see you tomorrow and do what makes you happy